Hey there everyone, Karan here from TechRiffs. And if you have clipped this video, I have an idea why you might have done that because you want to know whether you can install that and play this game on the Steam Deck. Well, the good idea, uh, the good news is that you can. The bad news is it doesn't come pre-installed and you need to go to some lengths to do that. Uh, it's not a very straightforward process to be honest. And uh, so let's just start with how does the process actually begin and I don't want to waste too much of your time. So to start that, we'll have to click on power and go to switch to desktop mode. So by this, you'll straight away get into the desktop mode. And I'll tell you one thing, this has been with me, the Steam Deck has been with me only for the past uh, three days actually. So haven't spent too much of time here. All right, so now you're in the desktop mode and you can see I can control it with the right thumbstick, the mouse cursor. So let me just click on uh, Steam. So this is the desktop application and I'll just keep this here for now. We might need this later on. So just keeping this minimized to be honest. So over here, we are going to go into this lower taskbar and we are going to go to something called discover. Now this is a software center. It's like a uh, app store uh, for Linux uh, distro. And over here we are going to search for Hero. So we are going to use the Hero launcher. So we'll search for that. And by pressing Steam and the right button over here, you can have this whole thing pop up. So let me just type Hero over here. Or you can also use this. And let me click on this so you can see the heroic game launcher over here and let me just click on install so this is going to take a couple of minutes and once we are done we'll just resume the video as you can see the thing is installing it's about 99 percent one thing to keep in mind if you have a 64 gb steam deck then uh you know if you had a 512 gb that is no problem you could have just installed this and you know regularly uh, you know put your epic game store and then you know start from there but since you have a 64 gb uh, variant you'd have to make sure that you uh, actually install this and another application that goes along with this so that your installation can actually happen inside the memory card that you know might be installed over here so to address that issue we will uh, install an application all right so steam nx has worked this time uh, so let's just type flat seal and hold on. All right, so uh, let's see. F L A T S E A L. Enter. All right, so we have flat seal and we are going to install this. This should be a pretty easy and a quick one. Uh, it doesn't take too much of space. All right, so we have the flat seal also installed. Now let's quickly get into Heroic Launcher. All right, so let's just click on launch over here. Again, you can use this as a mouse and let's click here. And this should ideally launch it, the Heroic application. All right, so new features, what fixes, all right. Let's click on login. So over here, you can see there's Epic Games login, Epic alternative login method, and then there's a GOG. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, you can also use Epic or GOG to log in over here. So let's uh, log in through Epic since I have an Epic account. I also have a GOG account, but since we are doing this for Epic, let's uh, check in the Epic account first. So once you're clicking here, it's loading the website. And over here, you can see your entire Epic uh, so I'll sign in with Epic Games, but you can sign in through various methods. Let's just put in the email ID and the password. Again, you can click here and Steam and Cross should help you bring the keyboard. As you have noticed, I'm still struggling with this because I have just been using it for one or two days right now properly. So once you log in, you should see that uh, you can see current underscore four in Epic Games, I'm logged in. And if I click on go to library, you can see all my games have come here. And as I'm selecting it, you can see this getting highlighted. And these are all the games that I have in Epic Games. 
Now, the reason you would want to get an Epic Games is because you have a lot of games here because Epic Games gives out free games like literally all the time. So, yeah, this is definitely the story you want to keep an eye out on. All right, so this mostly takes care of everything, uh, mostly. Now, next, what we have to do is we have to go to, uh, again, we had installed Flatseal, if you remember. So let's go to installed. Let's see. Yep. You can see this is flat seal. Let's click on launch. So once we have identified that this is installed and you can see that these apps are showing over here, uh, just for the moment, I'll close this and over here, I'll click on dolphin. That's the file manager. So yeah. Uh, like you have it in windows mac everything we we'll go to primary this is the removable device and over here yeah this is what i'll try to copy i'll try to copy this uh, url via uh, <laughs> simply just my mouse uh you know this trackpad over here but i was unable to do it so i think i'm going to have to use my mouse and i connected that using nothing but <laughs> this blue button over here and I appeared in my MX Master mouse and now you can simply just copy this and let me just zoom in a little bit let me just zoom in a little bit so that uh, it's just a little bit more clearer and now the whole process should become a little bit more easier all right so now that this is taken care of you can see flat seal over here or also you can go to the application launcher and search flat seed over there and once you have this you can see heroic launcher over here and what we're going to do is you're going to go absolutely to the bottom and under other files we'll click over here and we'll just we'll just paste it over there for some reason i can't see the paste so We'll paste it over here. Let me try that once more. For some reason, I am unable to paste this. So let me just go back here and let me see if I copied it correctly. Control C. And we should be able to paste it. All right. So, yeah, you got a blue. Uh, so the center button was the pressing button for some reason uh, and it pastes. So without the backslash, if I will get the backslash in you will see this thing uh, turn red so preferably don't do that yeah okay right, so now that we are done with this let's just click on close and i think we can close this also now let's just go and get back to heroic launcher so many ways to do that uh simple one we'll go here and see if yeah you can see here a games launcher we'll go here and all right so i've just enlarged it uh, for your reference and let me see if there's a small game i can install for you guys um all right this taking some time okay 2.16 gb let me just uh, look at a quick and a really small game uh, that I can install. All right, let's go with this absolute drift. I don't know how big this game is going to be, but uh, let's just see for the heck of it. All right, it's uh, 150 MBs. So yeah, let's click on install. And once you're clicking install, this is basically your default settings and you can see the space available is about 30 gigs 29.5 and this is most likely the internal storage that we are having and uh yeah so let's click here and uh yeah this is definitely the internal one so we'll go again to primary so this is the primary drive and let's just close all of this and let's create a new folder uh, and we can name this probably epic so yeah 
All right, so we are just naming this Epic Games and click on OK. Click on New Folders and let me click on Epic. And ideally, yes, now you have a folder that is named Epic and every time it will go on the media deck and this is where you would have it uh, installed so this is the entire install uh, location and we can click on install game now and after this we can select program program 7.0 and we can click on install and you can see installation started installing about zero percent while we are getting this thing installed, uh, let's just uh, go to settings and over here, make this the default uh, Steam path, so primary and over here, epic. So this effectively becomes your default Steam path. All right, so this is kind of taken care of. Uh, the game is still installing at about 16%. I don't know what's the reason why is the internet so slow so right now you would have to go into your desktop mode and then from there access it and all of that so to make this simple and you know have this always available and during the big picture mode i think let's do one thing let's add a game and uh, let's add a non-steam game so this would be your where is it yeah heroic game launcher and we can click on add selected program so ideally heroic game launcher should come up yep it's it's there yep so now this is done we can go to return to gaming mode and see how how does it how do things look like All right, here's the Steam library and uh, we will go to view more in your library and let's go to non-Steam and under non-Steam you can see Heroic Games Launcher and we just hit play and it should launch it over here. Great, perfect. So it has launched it and you can see all the things mentioned over here. So the games that are in black, uh, are the games that are not installed and the colors that are highlighted in color are the ones that are installed. Uh, but the ones that are getting highlighted by my cursor, that's just me selecting those games uh, at random. So let's just see if uh, the game that I had initial drift, if that game is installed or not, I'll just check that. Yep, absolute drift that's installed you can see it's highlighted and we'll just click on a and okay there's also a setting over here all right so with the settings you can check over here what do you want to go with all right so over here you can see absolute drift starting and let's just hit this button right. let's go to settings let's go to graphics Let's go for free room.
Alright, and you can see this game running amazingly well. I mean, getting crazy numbers like 180 plus FPS. And you can select like this. This is really awesome. Uh, yeah, and this is how you can actually have Epic Games running here smoothly and really well. So yeah, I hope you like this uh, video and uh, this little thing. There was one more small thing that I wanted to show you, which uh, I was facing some issue, but uh, yeah, which uh, many uh, what do we say videos don't actually show. Which many uh, videos don't actually show is that let's just click on close and uh, close this. It's fine, you can play this, but you need to use Proton 7.0 uh, instead of Proton Experimental. So I was trying with Proton Experimental and it was not working out for me. Uh, and it was, you know, showing that there's no Wine version used. So if you click on settings, you can go here and click on Wine version. And you can click Proton 7.0. And this should, for all intents and purposes, work for you. All right, so that is mostly it, guys. Uh, uh, you know, just a small video that I wanted you all to have a look at and uh, see what the game is all about and how, how can you run epic game store as it was confusing for me and uh, you know i wanted you guys to have this information all right thank you so much for watching this video guys take care see you in the next one if you like this video like and subscribe if you want to buy this console check out the links in the description it helps us out a lot thank you take care bye, -bye.